Hello everyone and welcome to the Ginger Beer Deer channel. Emily is here. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I don't know. I completely forgot what I was doing for a second. I'm actually doing an unwrapping because it's not a, really a box. We're doing an unwrapping of some sort of fake replica guns that I ordered from a shop called Denex, which I'll leave links in the description so you can go and if you like to look at these, you can go buy them yourself. Um, so yeah, so let's get to it. Knifey, 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 knife. This looks like... Ah. Well, it's truly all fingered in. Hey. Ah. Yeah, some of them are kind of replicas, some are just kind of like fanciness. But I think they're all... I think most of them are replicas, but they're... I got one with a unique twist on them. Which you will see. And this is mental. This is... This is like Fort Knox. I assume. We're getting somewhere. It would probably be a good idea if I went down here, maybe. Cut up. Cutting in one of the other boxes here. Cut up, get there, and open, huzzah. I see a box I'm going to probably, hopefully be able to easily shankle out very quickly. Come here. Yeah. Woo! Don't fall over. Sit there nice and tight so everyone can see. You're going to fall over, aren't you? If I'm a bit bouncy, by the way, I'm... I'm kind of, the floor isn't stable, shall we say, I'm on my mattress. Right, so this one's rather heavy. Oh good, these don't actually have any kind of things in them. So let's have a look, shall we? Ah, I know this, what, what this one is. The double barrel. The double barrel flintlock. In all its glory. So yeah, this is one of those kind of, Fancy, kind of, I think it's their own design. It's like to look like it's made out of ivory and things. Got a hammer, double barrels, and does this rotate? Yes, it does. So, obviously the idea of this kind of gun back in the day would be you'd load both barrels. You can't load the barrels on this, it's just a replica. You set yourself into the firing position, like so, and you go, oh, come on. Very stiff. Ugh. Very stiff trigger on this. We fired one barrel, so you load it up, rotate over to the next one, and then fire the next. Oh, that is a very stiff trigger on this. Very stiff. I don't know if it, it's not even to do with how far I'm pulling it back, it just is stiff. But it's really nice. I just bring it up to the camera. It actually looks really lovely. There's a bit of scuffing in things, I can see. Um, a little bit that can be seen in things, but nothing too bad. I mean, to be fair, if you were out using this in combat or hunting, whatever, it would be a little scuffed. I, I do love there's little, uh, I don't know if the camera's quite picking that up, but there's little, um, focus camera, there's little, nodules like for aiming so, like that but you could never really aim with one of these things is it They're like the reason you had two barrels is because your first shot probably missed so you need to quickly fire the second shot but that's that's really nice i do love this rotating barrel mechanism that's really nice just a pity the trigger is a bit stiff but hopefully with me using it i'll take it out for cosplay and things it'll get a bit better but yeah Boom, boom. Right, let's open up the, the bag some more, see if we can get something else out. Thing. Oh, right. I can get this big one out, which I think I know what this is probably is. Can I get this out? Ugh. Ah! Oh, 
You know what, I'll, I'll save that one till last. Because we've got another easy to pull out one there. Just, you know what, fall down, I don't care anymore. Right, on to this one. Out the way box. Uh, I'm just trying to find the best bit to open it here. This one's a bit... The tabs on this one are a bit funny. It'll have a nice wee push dude. Pushy bit. Right. So what's this one then? Ah, I know this one. Peacemaker revolver. Little classic western here. God, it's got they've got on some weight, which is really impressive. Peacemaker, which of a which is a single shot, so it's do your classic, you know, your classic. I was trying to do the. You can't actually do that without you need a double action to do that, don't you, Emily? You fucking tool. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, cocking it, routine with the rifle, pulling it, triggers a lot nicer on this one. I like the design of the, I got one with some more sort of really nice filigree. Now, do I have to open that to, there is. Oh, hold on. Oh wait, no, that's to empty the chamber. So how do I... There's a very stiff loading doodad that really does not want to come out. Uh, not to matter. It's not real anyway. I can't get real guns in the UK without a gun license. Um, and in fact, it's very difficult to get fake guns. So stuff like this is a bit easier to get because it's more obviously fake. There's big, um, as you can see, um, what they called screws yeah that's really nice I do like that I just show you up close the action so you pull it back and bang so a single action revolver so I, I originally wasn't quite sure what this bit was but it's actually the re-rolling mechanism essentially the bit that you pull stuff out and my phone is going off it's probably oh. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice as well. Uh, as you can see, all the lovely little kind of like design, which is copied on the side, and real wood handle, which is nice. Peacemakers are big. <laughs> I realise how big a peacemaker actually was. Uh, I think it's a peacemaker. My American friends will prob, my American viewers will probably know. If I have any American viewers, I've only got. I mean, I've got this chat. I don't even know. Yeah, so. Peacemaker. And so, the unravelling continues. Right, I think this is the last small one now. I say small. I know what one it is and it's probably actually quite big. Or do I? Oh, it's a div. It's another. Oh wait, no it isn't. I thought, it was a, I thought it was another revolver there for a sec because I've got a couple of different orders coming in from Denmark. But no, this is... I got this pure and simply for the name. It's the Scottish Flintlock. <laughs> um, same flintlock mechanism, but a uh, very unique design. Very unique. It's got this kind of curved pistol grip here. Um, and it's lovely kind of golden brass kind of thing, as you can see, and a nice little little design, if you can focus, on the grip as well, which is also copied on the top of a of a fizzle, uh, with something in French, I don't know. So there we go. Oh, very hard to pull the trigger on this one. Ah, shit, fuck. <laughs> I just <laughs> caught myself with that. I'm gonna have a bruise on my finger. Um, and actually, before I go on to the big one, I'm gonna show you a couple that I've already got, which were ones that led me, if you can still hear me, hopefully you can, led me to the Denmex site, which I got from, uh, I got it from an alt shop. And uh, they do like, 
as most alt shops do. They do a lot of cosplay stuff, a lot of gothic stuff and things. And so I got a pair of flintlocks. Bang bang. Slightly different designs on each, but sim basically the same. Uh, the difference in design is this one has a nub on the bottom, and this one's obviously brass coloured, whereas this one's more kind of gunmetal. So it also has a little filigree on handle, I think that's what you call it. And uh, these are based upon percussion caps, so later on when people started making better guns, but they still relied on that one shot, fill it with powder, but instead of obviously having to uh, having a, a much more dangerous have a much more dangerous flintlock, they, they designed percussion caps that created a, a quick spark to ignite the powder. Still kind of dangerous, but yeah, these led me to Denmex, and they're cool, and they're good for pirate cosplays. Camera, why did you suddenly lose focus? There we go. So yeah, ah. <laughs> so yeah, that's fun. Uh, so we're all right. We're on to the final one. Which still doesn't want to be released from all this bubble wrap. Ugh. I just knocked over about five different Lego boxes. Well done, Emily. Right, so this one I am going to need my knife again. Do do do. Da da da. Da da da. And this one is the dreaded paper rifle. No, no. Uh, <laughs> actually, oh god, it's got some weight to it. It's actually oh, it's getting caught. It's actually a Henry rifle. Made famous, I think, from kind of John Woo kind of things, with an octagonal, octagonal, tail barrel. It's probably a nice one. Another bloody phone call. The Henry rifle with a little, little range doodah, so you could slay. Bang. <laughs> there's no kind of. I don't think there's a. Oh, there is a. A sort of false loading thing here. Interesting. So I could get fake bullets and do some false loading with this if I wanted for filming, but I don't really do any filming with these kind of things yet. But I probably will in the future. That's partially why I wanted to get them. I'm getting covered in a bit of grease from the. Obviously the the uh, the bullet chamber, I think. So I would need to probably wrap this where I intend to hold it. Should probably like this. Haha. -ha. Down the scopes at you, me camera hearties. I don't know why I'm talking like a pirate. This isn't really a pirate gun. But I mean, pirates would have still existed in that time. This one looks really nice as well. Like all of them have. Well, apart from the double barrel one and the Scottish pistol, uh, they all have real wood. Uh, I, I, the metal's brass and something else, I can't remember. I'm getting absolutely covered in crap from this. Uh, so if I was a little bit shiny on the bottom, it's a little scuffed in things, but I don't mind that too much. Again, I like a slightly beaten and broken look. Ah, oh, shit, I caught my finger in the loading mechanism. Oh, well, that's interesting. I realised the top bit was completely open. Interesting. But yeah, so there we go. A sort of unboxing of various weapons and things. I can pop that down now. I don't know why I feel so hot. Probably because I won't open up all these boxes. I think I've stepped back a little bit, actually. Uh, can I hear the, the clink? There's even, I'm noticing now, there's even a, an attachment thingy to put on a sling thing. That's what it would be for. So you could sling this. 
This one probably very difficult to bring around as a cosplay weapon because it's pretty, pretty big. <laughs> um, but yeah, really cool. Get it up, cowboy. So that's how I look with it. In real world, I'm seeing a mirror image of myself, obviously. Oh. Whew. Yeah, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do leave a like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe. Duh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.